Yep, that's this is a good one. This is a big one. Got him. Got him. This feels good. This feels good. If this is a crappie, I'm gonna poop my pants. Oh, oh my God. Here we go. Oh, this is a giant. Oh my God. What is this? He's right on me. Oh, got him. Yep. Oh my God. Just another bomb. This feels good. Come on, please be a crappie. Please be a crappie. Oh, stuck in the bottom of the ice. What is it? What is it? Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my PB crappie. PB crappie. Oh. Ha, oh, holy cow, it is freaking cold out here. It is negative eight degrees, but it feels like negative 32 degrees. I am freezing right now. Ooh, ooh, check out, check out the new hoodie. Mm. If you were to check one of these out, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go, go and look at. But anyways, today, you guys might call me crazy. It's negative 32 degrees outside, but I have not gone ice fishing in like two weeks or so, and I'm fiending, I'm absolutely fiending to get on some all fishies. So I'm gonna hit up this spot that's usually good late ice, um, but I'm like, you know what? I, I haven't been there yet this year. I'm just gonna go check it out right now. People are gonna call me crazy for going fishing because it's so cold out, but you know, screw it, let's do it. But I am gonna go to the Detroit Lakes area and see if I can locate some fish for you guys. Today's mission for me is gonna be a crappie mission because I have yet to get on a good crappie bite. Like I keep telling you guys, this video's gonna be a crappie video, this video's gonna be a crappie video, but it never pans out and I, I got a feeling today might be the day, it might not be the day because it's so cold outside, these fish may have turned off, but I got nothing else to do today guys, I'm like, screw it. I'm gonna go out fishing in this negative 32 degree weather Try to catch some crappies for you guys. So I'm gonna put Clemisha in the car, pack my car, head on out to the Detroit Lakes area, and I'm gonna put the camera equipment down because this places that I'm going to is kind of hard to locate the fish. So I wanna concentrate like all of my concentration on finding fish. So I'm putting all the camera stuff down. I'm gonna use the pan optics to locate some fish. Once I find even some marks, I'm gonna set up Clemisha and just sit there the whole day. I usually like to whole hop, but I'm not gonna whole hop in negative 32 degree weather. I'm gonna gamble and just sit down and stake out the place for the whole day and see if I can catch some fish, but I'll see you guys at the lake. All right, so I have found a hole that, well, I searched the area for a little bit, finally found a place that had some fish, using the pan, pan optics here to just kind of search and find those fish. If you want to see how I find fish and how to use this unit, I'll, I'll put a little thing right here for you guys to watch that. But you guys have been roasting me for not cutting two holes. And yes, I know you're supposed to cut two holes and like use this and then fish out of the other one, but I was honestly just way too lazy to do that, but today I'm, I'm gonna do it for you guys so you guys can, can stop complaining to me. I'm gonna be using plastics and live bait, just gonna see what works, but again, the target is crappies, and I'm not sure how the fish are gonna react today just because it's negative 32 degrees outside. I'm guessing that's gonna turn them off a little bit, and I'm not sure how the bite's gonna be, but I'm just gonna try fishing here and see if I can get some fish for you guys, but I don't know if you can see that. Eh, that's a fish right there, so I better get I better get to it. This mark's pretty suspended right now. It's pretty big too. Oh, this could be a, oh God, I'm gonna get smoked. This is not, a, this is not a panfish. This has to be a pike or a bass. It's acting so aggressive. I'm gonna get smoked. Got him. Yeah, this is, oh, if this is, if this is a panfish, probably poop my pants. Oh, <gasps> big crappie. There's another, there's another mark, there's another mark. Okay, hold on, hold on guys, hold on, there's another mark, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna put him right here. Oh, there's another mark, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me, let me drop down. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, chill, 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 John. Chill, there's another mark right here, boys. Let me just see if I can get this other one to bite. Here's his friend, his friend's right here. Oh, what are the odds I can get his friend to bite? Oh my God, come on, I'm gonna get smoked. I got, I got three fish coming for me. These have to be crappies, these have to be crappies. Got him, got him. This feels good, this feels good. If this is a crappie, I'm gonna poop my pants. This feels good. Come on, please be a crappie, please be a crappie. Oh, stuck in the bottom of the ice. What is it, what is it? Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my, PB crappie, PB crappie. Oh, oh, oh my God, there's more, there's more down there. Oh my God, okay, oh, 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 oh my God, oh. Oh, oh my god! 
There's more. There's more. I gotta. I gotta drop down. Oh my god. Oh. Here. We, on the. Oh my god. I'm freaking out. There's more. There's more. Oh my god. That is the biggest crappie I've ever caught through the ice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, is this recording? Yeah. Oh my god. I just caught two crappies in a mat. Oh, I'm gonna get. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. If this is a crappie, oh, come on, come on, come on. Got him, got him. This feel, if this this seems like another decent crappie, if this is a crappie. I'm just picking the school part right now. Oh, not a, oh, big bluegill. Oh, that's a, that's a respectable gill, boys. Oh my gosh. That's a tank bluegill. Freaking beast of a bluegill, but I'm gonna let him go. See you later. Oh my freaking God. I just, this is my PB crappie. I'm not even lying, boys. I don't even, I don't have anything to measure him with. Oh my God. This thing's a giant. So this is the first crappie that I caught and I threw him down on the ice because I'm like, I saw more marks. So I decided to go for this one. Oh my gosh. Look at the difference. This crappie can literally eat the other crappie. This thing's a freaking giant. Oh my gosh. The school came in out of nowhere, guys. Absolutely nowhere. Super suspended. And they were, they were acting very suspicious. I knew something was up, but this is my PB crappie. Oh my god, yeah! Woo! Okay, there's more fish down there. I'm letting this one go. See you later, guy. This this is a hundred percent is my biggest crappie that I've ever caught. Um, ever. So I'm going to get a measurement real quick. I don't have any yeah, this is what happened with me and Cody. I didn't have anything to measure him with, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some line that's the length of this, and then I'm going to basically measure it when I get home and see what my PB is. But what a freaking gorgeous fish, guys. Oh, my god this thing's a giant like look at look at this look at this oh oh i'm just i'm a kid at christmas right now kid on freaking christmas right now i'm gonna measure i'm with my freaking line right here i'm gonna measure this line when i get home so i'm going to put that right there okay so i don't know if you can see this but right now i'm taking this line i'm just measuring the length of him i got the end right there and then I'm putting the end of it right here. So right there is the length of my crappie. I don't know if you can see this line, but that's the length of it. I'm going to cut that and measure it when I get home. But one more look at my PB. This is a six inch hole and it absolutely just absolutely covers it up. But my PB crappie is, oh, things are freaking beauty. I, I was debating coming out here or not, honestly. And I'm I'm very happy I did. I'm very happy I did. But you gotta let these big ones go, guys. You gotta, I'll explain that here in a second, but you gotta let make sure you let these big girls go just so they can spawn and keep the ecosystem intact, but we're gonna let them go. If you would've told me that I was gonna catch my PB today, I would've said BS. There's there's no way I thought I was gonna come out here and catch my PB. I literally almost didn't come out here. I was like, ah, oh, it's negative 32 degrees. There's no way I'm gonna catch fish. They're gonna be so freaking like, what, what's that word I'm looking for? They're gonna be so finicky. I couldn't think of that word, but I don't know. I just almost didn't come out here and I'm so glad I did. I just smacked my biggest crappie ever. I can't wait to go home and measure and measure this right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is, I measured them with this. I'm gonna go home and see what it is. I'm guessing it was over 14. Over 14 is probably what I'm thinking it is. And that's for sure my biggest. And that was definitely my heaviest fish I've ever caught in my life. When you guys catch fish that like trophy anglers, like anything above like 13, 14, for crappies like you you want to put those back this goes for all fish so like any fish that's like considered a trophy in their species you want to put those back in the the system so they can they can spawn that's for number one they can keep the ecosystem intact and keep it all good and also it's just kind of sportsman's like just i think i mean i'd rather have somebody else try to catch that just because i'd rather not see it on the dinner table i'd rather see somebody else enjoy catching that kind of fish i don't know it's it's kind of soft but i mean honestly that's how it is guys i i that's why I like letting those big girls go. If I'm if I'm harvesting, you know, I'll keep like tens, you know, like nines, you know, stuff like that. But it was a good choice for, for me to put that back and uh, let somebody else enjoy catching it. But it's the night is still young. It's about three o'clock. I got uh, a good another like two hours or so. I'm going to stay here and fish. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll catch some more fish. Honestly, that was the most craziest like three minutes of my life. Like I had boom, 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 fish, 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 fish. Other than that, it was super slow and I caught my PB boys. That was freaking awesome. Let's go. I got fish moving in on me already. 
like I said, I caught that those I caught all those fish just on that frostbite jig with a creek chub, and I got a, a school on me right now. Oh my gosh! Okay, these. Oh my god, these are crappies. Oh gosh! Oh god! Big school! Big school! Oh, buddy's gonna hammer me. Got him! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh, this gotta be a crappie. This thing is huge. This thing feel. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! 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 my god! There's more! Hold on! Oh my god! What the fudge, dudes! Dudes, he came off, and I saw him in the bottom of the hole, and I was like, "Oh no, I'm not letting him go." So I reached down. My I reached my hand down all the way there, and I caught him. Oh my god! I can't believe I got him. Look how big this is. Look how freaking big this is. I got more fish there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got more fish. That's why. That's why I said this. These are. Oh my god. These have to be monsters. These have. Oh my god. I'm gonna get mucked. I'm gonna get mucked again. Got him. Oh, this is another big fish. Not big. No, this isn't that big. But it's another nice fish, I think. Oh, what is this? Oh, another crappie. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on? What's going on? I found the juice. I found the juice. I got so many fish down there. Okay. Number one, number two, not that big. I go back down. Oh, another big mama. Oh my gosh. I'm letting fish go today. Oh God. Oh, I'll see ya. Oh, there's more fish down there. I am absolutely shocked on what's going on right now, guys. You guys are just probably thinking I'm crazy, which which I am, but these fish are just absolutely nuts. I, I've, I haven't I've been on a bite like this yet this year. I caught my PB and I just caught those two back to back. And I'm still marking like, I don't know, probably like seven fish down there. So I see I got one coming to me right now. And that one, I couldn't, he, I, oh, got him, got another one. What is this? But anyways, like I was saying, that really big one I had like at the hole and he got off. And I reached my hand down and, and absolutely just snagged him. That was the most clutch play I've ever done in my life. But my hand, absolutely so, bro. This is so hectic right now. I got all these fish under me. I think they're... I think they're really good fish. I'm just using this little creek chub right there. My, my GoPro died. Sorry, guys. My GoPro died. What I was saying was I reached my hand down. And it was worth it. And I caught that little bluegill. And my GoPro died. But I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using. I got all tangled up right now. All right. As you can see, I got a pile of fish down there. I'm going to drop down and just see if your boy can smack one right here. <laughs> he said nope. Oh, Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, this is a giant. Oh my God, what is this? Or oh, he's not, maybe not a giant, but he came so aggressive over to me. He's right on me right now. He's right on me. Oh, got him. Feels nice. Feels nice. What do we got? Please be a nice crop eye. Yep. Oh my God. Just another bomb. Oh, oh. Just another freaking bomb, boys. Not as big as my PB that I caught, but oh, oh my. God, look, just a freaking nice crappie. Let's go. Oh, oh, cheese and rice, boys. I need to calm down. Just another good looking crappie. Another big one. You guys saw that on the old pan optics there. That thing came flying out of nowhere. See ya. But he was super aggressive. And that was awesome to see. Absolutely awesome to see. Guys, a lot of people are saying, oh, it turns off the fish. And yeah, I mean, it does do a point. But I mean... I don't know. Is that just a myth? Because I'm smacking all... This is the best day I've ever had, and it's negative 32 out. Like, I, I, just, I don't know. This is just blowing my mind right now, but I'm going to see if I can pick off a few more for you guys. Oof. Oof. Oh, buddy on the left side. It's coming in hot. You can barely see my jig. I'm flickering. Oh, oh, he's going to smoke me. Yep, got him. Feels like a good fish. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. This is a crappie. This feels like a crappie. Yep. Big crappie. Big crappie. Oh my gosh dang son. Gosh dang son. What is going on? That's a not a not a giant, but like wow, this is this is a good looking crappie. That one came out of nowhere. It came from the left side, and that was a lot more aggressive than the fish that I was working on right underneath me. But again, another good looking crappie. This is honestly way too much fun. Way too much fun. This is a good eater if you're gonna eat. See ya. All right, I zoomed in a little bit. These are some nice marks. I'm gonna see if I can. I can't even see myself, dude. Oh, there I am. I'm right there. Wow. I'm thinking these are little bluegills. No, no clue where. Oh, 
Got him. Crappie. Feeling like a crappie. Yep. Good crappie. Good crappie. Those are all crappies right there, guys. Decent. See ya. Oh, go no, down the hole. Down the hole, son. As you can see in the panoptics, those are the crappies, and you can individually count those crappies if you wanted to. And my jig's really hard to see right now. Um, there I am. Right, that's my jig right there. And see if I can get another mark to come over to me here. I got one, yep, I got one beneath me. I got like four on the way right side, about eight feet away from me. I got one on the, oh yeah, I'm gonna get smoked by this one. Oh, where, that's weird, he just like disappeared. Okay, oh, oh, got him. He like, like circled around me and came and bit me. Yep, crappie. Dude, these are all really good eaters too. Gosh dang, son. Good eater, good eater, good eater. He blindsided me. He, he looked like he was going to smack me. And then he like disappeared. And then my rod was just bending. I'm like, oh, well, pulled a little sneak attack on me. Decent fish. I got more crappies down there. I gotta, gotta get back down there. As you saw, all those, all those fish already skirted. That's why you got to be really quick on on catching these and getting back down. But dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm right here. I got this one coming in toward me. That looks like a pretty decent mark. Oh, oh no. That Oh no, my camera died on the Garmin, but I'm about to get smoked. Yup, this is a good one. This is a big one. I think this is a big one, boys. This is a big one. Oh, oh, he's digging. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, be, be big, be big, come on. Oh, 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 this is, might be bigger than my last one. Oh my gosh, what is going on? This was bigger than my last one, I think. Oh, another giant. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Literally, my camera right there died, but I, I still got the hooks and everything on the GoPro, but oh my, just another slab daddy. Like, look at this, look at this. Oh my god, that's a freaking giant. Let's go. Another giant. Let's. Oh my god. This is the best freaking day of crappie fishing I've ever had in my life. Oh my goodness. I mean, if I had to guess, this one's probably about 14 or so, but my other one's bigger. So I'm excited to see what that is. But god, just a freaking giant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 yep. You're almost there. Another giant. See you later, guy. Hammered. Oh. Jeez, this thing hammered me, dude. Oh, this this feels like a big one. This feels like a big one. Come on, be another big crappie. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Dude, another giant. Dang son. Another freaking look at this. Oh my god. Bigger than my hand, boy. Look at that. Today is absolutely insane. This thing is a bomb, dude. Oh my god. This is this is the best day I've ever had crappie fishing for sure. Just another freaking bomb. See you later. Yep, there he goes. See ya. All right, guys, made it back to my house and hmm, I botched. So when I cut that string, it was monofilament. I don't know. It's really hard to find, but anyways, I cut that string and I was so excited because I was you know catching big fish. Well, big for me, and I just took my little measurements cut it and then I put it in this backpack right here. But I mean, it was kind of a dumb idea because I just threw it in the bag and I was like, oh, I'll find it when I get home and I'll measure when I get home. Um, I can't find it. That's, that's honestly really bugging me because now I'll never know how big that fish was. Um, if I had to guess, I would say it's, it was over 14, I think. I think it was touching 15, maybe. So I'll say, you know, I'm just I'm gonna say a little bit under 15, maybe. But I would probably round up to 15 and tell you guys 15. But honestly, I have no clue, no clue how big that crappie was. But drop a comment down below and just kind of like drop an estimate down what you guys think that was. It was definitely my PB, and never gonna know how big it was, which is a freaking bummer. Um, I need to I need to get a tape measure and just keep it in there at all times. But if you like today's video, drop a comment down below. Let me know how big you think my crappie was, and also throw out your guys' PB crappie. I'm kind of curious to see what that is. But like I said again, thanks you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.